Welcome back, uh, it's Damned here for a, uh, our third part in this tutorial series and what we're going to do is keep working on our main tab for the character sheet. So that is called car sheet main and uh, last session we built these boxes for the skill stamina luck magic and magic points where we had a current value and a max value. We're now doing looking at how we built the weapons. So um, I've already pre-built this and I'm just going to walk you through the stuff that we've done here. So the first thing I've got is a window list. So the window list is created from here and we've got a few values in here. So um, we've got a drag and drop field weapon or class, sorry, a window class uh, weapon. So we'll have to define weapon. Okay. And we've got the class name which is the data that will appear here inside the window list is weapon detail so it's another window class that we need to create and what's really important is that we create a data source and the data source needs to start with a period full stop um, and I generally just call it uh, whatever the data type is in here which is weapon uh, list Okay, and um, in this situation, I've given it a frame, which is a gray shade, which is just a semi-transparent uh, PNG file. But you can see in my frame offset, I've got three on the left. I've got 20 from the top. And the reason I've got 20 from the top is I've got weapons in here. And this just allows me to define the frame inside the weapon list or inside the, the list and not have to do them separately. All right. Um, I've named it weapon list. I've then also got a label on top here and I think that my weapon list uh, is just behind, sorry the label here is behind and it's not uh, complete there, uh, weapon label and we want to just move that forward a little bit uh, if it's not locked, we'll push that above the list, and then I should be able to select it. Okay, uh, there's nothing else here really. Um, just this this field is uh, set. But what I need to do now is create the weapon window class. So we've got one here. Okay, so we've basically got a frame which is uh, defined here um, in the window. So base frame three, we've given it a size, it's all fine. I've got a link. The link is uh, using link field, and the link is the object that allows you to open the record and also to drag and drop the record. I've got a name field uh, called name, and the reason I mentioned name is because it's, it's used several times. It's used here. Uh, we can see the description field for the link is name, all right. Um, over here we've got a couple of funky buttons. We've got one here that we've copied in the custom class name, and that is button record locked. All right. That incorporates the core RPG uh, template for button record locked. I've also put some code in here. So on init and on value changed. Uh, on it means when it's this window is initialized for the very first time and on window changed, basically it's going to lock all these fields if the padlock is locked and it's going to unlock them if the padlock is unlocked. Uh, we've then got our close button and again it's an advanced template close record sheet specify the icons. Now these icons don't exist in this project but because we're importing Core RPG those buttons will become available. I've created a little frame here or an icon called six frame which is this one here it's just got six boxes on here just another different way of doing it um, I've got six uh, number fields here and they enabled weapon underscore one through to weapon underscore six okay and they just sit on top of this graphic at the back here I've uh, got a, a label called damage and a description field and then this whole record can lock then we've got one called weapon detail. Now remember 
that weapon detail is what will appear here in our list weapon detail and weapon is what we drop when we do the drag and drop we drop a weapon link into this weapon list and it will populate it and it will populate it with the same data but presented through the window uh, class called weapon detail all right so let's look at weapon detail so we've got a name field we have a button okay we've just created a simple button called icon underscore sword and then I've got uh, my icon called uh, six frame at the back plus I've got six number fields on top and then name nam, named exactly the same as they are in the weapon record so weapon underscore one and then I've got a link field and the link field uh, uses the name field for its name um, and it links to the window a window class called weapon which is the detail view of this um, that's mostly what we've got there so this you know this whole window class here we can see here it's 210 pixels wide 27 tall so over here in the window list that my data is going to drop into you can see it's 215 wide which is wide enough to hold my uh, data that fills that field there's a couple of other bits we've got in here so I've got a script data library and this script here uh, allows the sidebar record to be created to hold our list of created weapons I created an icon I did this in GIMP created another uh, icon did that in GIMP another um, frame which is just this semi-transparent PNG file okay so when we push that um, and reload our table this is the view that we get so we'll delete this record here okay so um, we have our existing character sheet we've got our, our stats in here not properly set up just yet but we have now have a weapons field uh, weapons label inside a window list and I have a weapons uh, list here which we can access options sidebar weapons wouldn't be on by default it's a new record we add it and it's appearing here at the bottom of the list so when we open our sword we can see uh, it's got its values set up in here and if I drag that into here it's going to populate that field I could create um, other records here so we'll call this one a dagger and it's gonna have different damage all right we'll lock that record and we'll drag that one in as well now if we click on the links we can see that it opens up into the data fields for those so uh, that's a uh, how we're going to create our weapons uh, for it and then of course this is a rollable field but it it's throwing the dice but it's not doing the rest of the calculation so we're just getting the framework set up just at the moment and we'll go in and add more detail to those rolls uh, once we've done that okay nice and quick tutorial for today tomorrow we're going to be doing the armor and we'll also do an attack roll probably thanks for joining in see you tomorrow